did it again, left my keys in your car so you come round at ten And then your phone goes, how does she know? There must be something in the wind I've been obsessed with Surf It, don't even I feel like my receipt of five for this month is just going to be Surf It because she's all I've listened to on Spotify this past week, week and a half, something like that When I go there And then your phone goes It just always reminds me There must be something in the wind In the wind also, I did my hair different today. I've been wearing it in pigtails a lot recently just because it gets it out of the way. And then I've been wearing like a headband to get my fringe out of the way, but obviously I don't want to be wearing a headband in this video. Um, but yeah, I, I look like an anime character and I can't remember who. I think, I, I'm not, I kind of think Misa from Death Note, but her hair is straight and her pigtails are there. Or like Asuma from Negima. Nejima? Negima? Nejima, Nejima, Nejima. I never know how to say it. It's just like someone who wears pigtails like this and they have a fringe that swoops. I don't think they have a full fringe, but the pigtails are really like thick, thick pigtails. I've also got my Udi on that I got for Christmas so I can stop stealing Maya's every time I go through to hers. Um, it's like avocados in it. It's, it really suits, it suits my hair colour. I like it, I love it. I love it and I will live in it for the rest of my life. Sinner, I'm a G, Ashley Cole type B. Na 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 na. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. I have to notice my nails as well. I've taken my nails off. Um, I need to grow them back out. I used to have lovely long healthy nails and then I started wearing fake ones again and I've completely ruined them. Not even acrylics, just like fake Primark press on ones. Anyway, in today's video I am going to be taking you through my 2024 bucket list for crochet and knitting. I've decided to include some knitting bits as well. Kind of, sort of, technically, yeah, not specified knit, just I want to knit more. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. <laughs> But yeah, I uploaded my first video of 2024 yesterday, so thank you so, so much for the love. I was kind of scared that um, it wasn't going to do too, too well, like it was going to be the worst one, but it's not surprisingly, so yeah. Um, glad to be back. I'm definitely back in the YouTube crochet mood, and now that I've got that first video out of the way, I feel like I've just got a free-for-all type thing. Obviously, apart from the 5k Q&A that I promise is coming soon. <laughs> But yeah, that is what today's video is going to be, so if that's something you're interested in, keep on watching. But without further ado, let's get into it, my darling. So, today's- no. So, this year's little scrap project is going to be a scarf. I've decided that I'll need a new one to do soon anyway, because I've got one sleeve left on the scrap jumper from last year, and the ribbon and that, but after that, I'll need something else to do with my scrap jumper. Uh, with my scrap yarn even. So I've decided that I'm going to do a scarf but I'm not going to crochet it, I'm going to knit it because I want to do my first knit pro project this year and I was going to jump straight into a jumper but I realised how stupid that is even though that's what I did with crochet, I went straight into a top but that's fine because crochet is a hell of a lot easier than knitting. I wish I would have learnt knitting first, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'm going to make a scarf and I feel like that's just the best way to kickstart my little knitting hobby and also use up all that scrap yarn, you know, so I've not got too many projects, projects on at the same time. And I, also, I don't want to be buying yarn for knitting and then just like never doing anything with it. like. If, I want to, if I'm going to be knitting something, it's going to take quite a while, so I'll get a good amount of yarn, do you know what I mean? Or like I'll get a good quality yarn, and I don't just want it to sit there because I'm putting off knitting, so if there's scrap, if it's scrap yarn, that's completely fine, because it's always going to be there. Oh, I'm going to have to sit here, lads, I'm sorry, my legs and feet are killing me already, and this is the only bit, this is the only position that gives me a little bit of a relief. So yeah, but the first thing that I'm going to be doing is scrap jumper, like finishing the scrap jumper first and then I'll move on to the scrap scarf. And I might record it, I'm not too sure. I do, I would love to have um, a monthly video again like I did with the scrap jumper, but since it's going to be my first time knitting like a full project, I'll just get really frustrated and I will and I'll be, uh, it'll take me ages 
Do you know what I mean? So I might just do a little update at the end of each month, but I won't do a whole video dedicated to it. But yeah, that's the first thing that I plan on doing in 2024. I may as well keep on the theme of clothing. So this, I saw someone do this on TikTok the other day. I'm so sorry, I'm really bad at remembering usernames and things, but I will pop it up right here. And they've done a blue is it blue or is it blue and green version of this and I want to do this so bad I don't have I was genuinely about to lift my top up then and show you my boobs I need to stop right <laughs> I don't have big boobs but I feel like mm, they would look nice in this type of top so it's a little love heart cut out top I'm not sure what color I'd do it either but it looks fairly simple I'm probably I'm probably going to eat my words on that but I, it looks fairly simple so I feel like I'll probably have a couple. I'd love to do like a black and grey one. I'd love that like a little, a little robber shirt. Um, but I also really love the blue that the person did on TikTok but also this red and pink. I just I feel like I want to brighten up my wardrobe a bit in 2024. Yeah. I feel like I want to brighten it up a bit and I think this is just a really fun little... I don't know if I'll ever wear it out because um, I'm a... Uh, even if I wear like a tighter shirt I'll put like a baggy hoodie over the top and my big leather jacket but I feel like in summer I feel like summer spring I'd probably wear it out just as it is so yeah this is another thing that I really want to make and it'll challenge me a bit because I've not done anything well I've not done anything striped when I've done crochet and I also haven't done anything like cut out so I feel like it'd be a cool skill to to learn how to do. Um, this one is knit, I've just realised. The red and pink one is knit but I won't be knitting it, I'll be crocheting it. I'd got, I was dread to even think how long it'd take me if I knitted it. But um, yeah, hat cut out top is on my bucket list, a thousand percent. And even if I don't go, I will, I will wear this. I will not wear this. I will make this, like I will. But if I don't, then just funky tops in general and doing more tops. I'm excited for summer because my skills have improved a heck of a lot since summer. So I'm excited to expand, expand my, you know what I mean. I want to do more tops. <laughs> I want to do more fitted tops instead of just oversized things. Um, and I want to get a grasp of measuring stuff as well, like my boobies. So yeah. Speaking of tight fitting tops and just fitted tops in general, I saw this tutorial the other day and it keeps popping up on my TikTok of like different people making it but it's an off the shoulder sweater. Bing! Um, I keep seeing them all over, I love the little bow on the front and I just want more things off the shoulder. I've cut a bunch of my t-shirts so that they're off the shoulder, like the really slouchy, relaxed rockstar girlfriend type. I want... Uh, oh, guys, I'm obsessed with Tari Yummy, I can't lie. I'm so... Tari Yummy is a mindset. Step one. If you want to be Tari Yummy, you have to think like Tari Yummy. Tari Yummy is a mindset. I love her so much but like off the shoulder tops just remind me of her if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah I really want to make an off the shoulder um sweater or shirt whichever one you want to say like top um it don't have to be a sweater top but again I'll be crocheting this not knitting this um I could possibly I could possibly go for like a knitted sweater towards the end of the year but for the beginning of the year I'm going to keep my knitting simple so I don't get overwhelmed and angry with it and then never pick it up again This is something that I really, really, really want to make. I've not made a blanket um, and I was debating on whether to make a temperature blanket, but I think the matter of the fact is that it'll... Uh, uh, mm, no. The weather doesn't... The temperature... Mm, does it? I don't know. I, d I don't... <laughs> My mind was all over the place then. Anyway, I've been debating on whether to make a temperature bl blanket, but the matter of the fact is I it means I'll have to go out and buy a bunch of new yarn and I can't be bothered to do that and pick all the colours and I feel like halfway through the year I'll hit the colours that I've done and then by the end of the year I'll just hit the blanket in general and I'm like right okay and ideally I'm not going to do a row a day because 
like my granny squares I'll forget two days and then I'll just not touch them again so anyway what I'm trying to say is the blanket that I am going to be making is the blanket from Always Sunny in Philadelphia now I this has got to be like one of my top five if not top three shows I love Always Sunny so so much I rewatched it not last week the week before um all the seasons I, I, yeah and I've <laughs> this is one thing that I wanted to say as well since crocheting um I've found that I'm definitely one of those people that like looks at things and is like I don't need to buy that I can make that like I can make that and like I'm picking up obviously because before I wouldn't have even thought oh look at that crochet blanket I would have thought oh look at that blanket that's cool but now I'm picking up on everything that's crocheted in TV and like shows and like shops and I'm like oh I can do that I I, I, I don't need to order that I can make it um so that's exactly what I did I rewatched Always Sunny and I was like I noticed it in like season two and I was like that's a crochet blanket that's super cool and then I realized that it's it's always been there it's been there throughout all the seasons up, up, um, I think like even in season 10 it was there so I was like that'd be really cool so that's something that I definitely want to do it's a granny square blanket and it's orange yellow green and brown but that's something that I definitely want to do for a video I feel like it'd be super fun and if I make it super duper oversized like it is there it sits on the back of the um settee in Dee's apartment I think it is yeah it's the um, yeah it's in Dee's apartment I'm pretty sure um but I think that'd be a really cool project and it's also kind of niche like I know Always Sunny is quite is like quite a big program but I feel like getting true Always Sunny fans um I feel like that'd be a cool video to do so let me know if that's something that you want to see but I'll definitely still be doing it because it's just something that I've never done before making that many granny squares and also making a blanket I've never done that before and also going and actually finding the correct colours for the blanket like the correct coloured yarn I feel like that'd be cool to film as well because um, I feel like it's not just going to be an easy going to one shop and get all the colours um, but yes always sunny blanket <laughs> Okay, so the second to last thing is a cardigan and I was considering knitting this um, but it'd have to be at the end of the year and by the end of the year I feel like I wouldn't want this anymore. This basically popped up on my Instagram and I really liked the outfit. It's something that I can see myself wearing in like spring. Um, it's definitely not I just want more use out of my jeans. I love the jeans that I have but I just never wear them because I, I don't have the correct style for them I feel at the minute so I really want this cardigan but then I was like I could literally crochet or knit that I was like I'm gonna knit that and I'm like Mel you are below beginner at knitting there is no way you're gonna get that done for spring so then I'm like okay I'll crochet it and I found a couple tutorials that I think I'm gonna have a go at but now it's decided on a yarn but I did see this marble yarn which is what I made my crop mesh jumper out of so I think I might do it in this colour but that's I, I, that's not something that I'll definitely be making it's just something I would like to make but it's a cardigan so I could do it any time and you know it'll be sweet and hopefully by the end of the year I'll have upped my game a lot on knitting so that'll be something that I look forward to starting and hopefully finishing at the end of the year all right and then last but not least is tapestry I've said this before and I'll say it again I have only done tapestry once and it was Snoopy and it was for a Christmas present and it went rather well it's just now I have to weave in all the ends so I need to up my technique on how to weave it in as you go along instead of just leave them all to the end but tapestry in general is something that I want to up my game on and then also turn in those tapestry tapestry pieces into actual items I've got quite a few tote bags here there's like a goose there's some fish which reminds me of the Pisces symbol and I I'm not a Pisces but I like the Pisces symbol um and then there's sunshine and then this is the one that I think that I want to aim towards which is you know when you have no internet on a Chromebook at least on my you know that's where I see it from and the little dinosaur it's like boop. It's like a scene from that and that's what I want to work towards doing but yeah like I said I want to get better at tapestry not only will I be able to like make cool little canvases I feel like it's just so useful like you can turn a plain jumper into like a funky jumper you can literally get any photo you want from anything and turn it into your pixel grids and then 
make it into something like it could be a wall hanging it could be a scarf it could be a jumper i don't there's just a lot you can do with it and it's just something that i'd really love to learn more of and get better at um but yeah tapestry so that's pretty much it they're all my main crochet and knit plans for 2024 i'll definitely be doing a lot more things but these are the ones that i think i'll be making youtube videos on so if that is something that you do want to see then please let me know yeah like i said at the beginning thank you so much for the love on the first video of 2024 i bet you're sick of hearing that date now but thank you very much for the love and support and it's just nice to know that even if I do want to go away for a little bit, if I just need a little bit of time with my mind, then I can do that. And thank you very much to those who reached out um, personally and asked if I were okay. Um, I, I'm better now. I'm fine now. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm better now. So thank you ever so much, my little dumplings. Absolutely sweetnesses, every single one of you. Mwah. But yeah, if you do want to join the Discord, then I'll be posting little updates and things in the group chat um lovely lovely people in there um so that'll be linked down below i'll also have what else will i have linked down there i'll have my pinterest link down there as well because this is a pinterest board that i've made and also other upcoming pinterest videos are already on my pinterest so feel free to go and have a look um feel free to follow me on tiktok i'm hoping to be posting a lot more on there and also this is my instagram in case you wanted to follow me on there as well i post on my story every day even if it's just random stuff that i find on my explore i feel like it's just it's just a good way to get to know me it is what absolute rubbish i post on my story so also, if you have any video ideas, feel free to comment those down below as well. And also, any last minute questions for the 5k Q&A, feel free to put those down there as well. Don't matter if someone's already asked it, because no doubt I'll end up missing a bunch anyway. But yeah, that is it from me, my lovely little dumplings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.